Assalamu alaikum. Uh, guide Kathras, uh, I'll be uh, covering these different parameters of the Guide Kathras. And uh, regarding the structure of the Guide Kathras, they have uh, three layers. And uh, the inner is uh, PTFE lining, which is uh, lubricious lining. And then there is stainless steel braiding layer. And the outer jacket is a nylon jacket. There are different components, uh, which is hub, shaft, secondary curve, primary curve, and a tip. Uh, these are the various functions of the guide catheters, which is engaging the coronary arteries, the pressure measurements, contrast injection, wire and devi device advancement, and uh, deliver the coronary arteries, and providing support for that. When compared these guide catheters with the um, diagnostic catheters, they have a stiffer shaft, they have much thinner walls, large internal diameter, lubricious coating for easy passage of the hardware. And this uh, wire braiding uh, makes it more kink resistance relatively, but uh, they are comparatively more difficult to manipulate. And uh, they have a short uh, angulated tip for atraumatic uh, engagement. Uh, regarding the uh, uh, the size of the catheters, it, it, it is basically it is the distance between the secondary and the primary curve, which measures the size. For example, if the distance is uh, three centimeter, it is uh, three uh, size guide, and likewise. Uh, regarding the uh, diameter of the catheters, they have uh, external and internal diameters. And the external diameter of the catheters is measured uh, in French. One French is equal to 0.33 millimeters. And for example, six French catheters uh, has an external diameter of two millimeters. And um, similarly, one can calculate the external diameter of all the catheters according to the French size. Uh, the common uh, routine angioplasties are mostly done with the six French, but uh, five French are also being commonly used, especially through the radial axis, and uh, seven and eight French uh, catheters are used for more complex procedures. And here you can see the um, various devices and the different procedures which are compatible with the different size of the guide catheters. And now there are certain uh, anatomical considerations in the guide selections which are, uh, which depends on the route which is uh, chosen, for example, radial versus femoral axis the native vessels versus grafts, and left versus right coronary artery, uh, uh, right artery, and then the location of the ostium, the orientation of the proximal segment of the arteries, the coronary anomalies, tortuosity of the vessels, whether the procedure is elective or an uh, emergency procedure, and then the characteristics of the lien, which whether it is a bifurcation lien, a chronic total occlusion, or uh, uh, there is a calcified lien. Aortic uh, root size is uh, very important. Uh, if it is uh, normal, then you take normal, uh, say, 3 or 3.5 uh, size guide. But if there is a dilated order, you, you need to take the bigger uh, catheters. Uh, coaxiality of engagement is also a very important uh, parameter. And that means that the tip of the catheter is along the line of the proximal segment of the vessel. And here you can see, um, in the upper picture, you can see a, a coaxial and a non-coaxial guide catheter sitting to the left coronary artery. And in the lower one, you can see a guide catheter, which is Judkin, sitting in the uh, coaxially sitting in the right uh, coronary artery. Uh, this is a uh, right coronary artery which has a normal origin and apparently this is a simple lien and uh, Judkin right catheter uh, is good to go about uh, the PCF this case. But in the lower picture you can see a very uh, complex and uh, diffuse critical disease, probably total occlusion, for which a more supportive guide like uh, AL is um, more useful. Uh, this is a Sheffield Crook RCA for which uh, hockey stick and um, implant catheters are more appropriate to do these procedures successfully. And in a RCA which has an inferior course, uh, multi-purpose catheter is more appropriate. 
now coming to the sport uh, so, uh, there is uh, there are guides which are uh, which have a standard sport uh, which is uh, minimal and then there are sport guides they which they uh, drive the sport by sitting in the uh, sinus of valsalva and then the power or extra sport guide which uh, sit against the opposite wall of the aorta uh, here you can see um, uh, so the f in the first picture you can see a um, simple rc uh, the judkan guide which is sitting uh, coaxially into the right coronary artery which uh, which already shown and uh, this is well aligned but there is no uh, sport by uh, coming into contact with the opposite aortic wall but uh, in the next, the hockey stick sitting in RCA, and uh, this is driving its um, extra sport from the sinus of Valsalva. And the last picture, you can see a EBU, which is coaxially engaged with the left uh, coronary artery. And uh, there is a, this is an extra sport by uh, a large area of the catheter coming into contact with the opposite aortic wall. So this is a uh, extra uh, backup. Uh, e um, so, uh, these are the extra backup or uh, power sport guides, and uh, here you can see XB3, BL, or EBU. And um, in the last picture, you can uh, see the uh, guides of different sizes. And uh, for example, uh, G2 is coaxially sitting into the left main when it is horizontally directed. And uh, if you have, if the, if the left main stem is uh, directed downward, then you need to take a 0.5 millimeter bigger size guide. And if it is directed upward, you need to take a 0.5 millimeter smaller guide. Now these are various different uh, measures and maneuvers uh, which the operator can, you know, do during the procedure. And uh, one can choose uh, larger French guides that will be, uh, uh, that will give more support. And uh, coaxial alignment has already been mentioned. Deep in inspiration during the PCI procedure is always useful. Most of the time it is, it is helpful. And one can, you know, deeply seat the guide and that can give a better support. And uh, one can change to uh, uh, cha different guides, for example, changing to Amplot's uh, catheter. Uh, then, you know, one can manipulate the guide within the, uh, you know, aorta and uh, get a better support. Then there is mother and child technique and one can use a buddy wire for the support and uh, extra support wires. And one can uh, push the guide forward at the point of uh, outside the sheath uh, while, you know, uh, crossing the lens. And uh, one can use an anchor balloon as well. So in summary, uh, the selection of the guide depends uh, upon the coaxial al alignment. Uh, all the guides need to have a coaxial alignment. And now it depends whether there is a complex anatomy or difficult lien, tortuosity, or need for extra sport. If it is there, uh, then w one need to go for an extra sport guide or a sport guide, which, which we have already discussed. But if it is a simple lien, no complexity, no calcification, no tortuosity, horizontal course, then you need, you can just take simple uh, jud judgan guides. Now, as far as the uh, excess is concerned, um, uh, most of the guides which are used for the femoral uh, approach can also be used for the radial approach, but uh, in case of uh, left system, one needs to reduce the size by half a centimeter and um, uh, if you are taking the, doing the procedure through the right radial approach. But in case of left radial approach, you can take the same size as that of the femoral. And then there are certain specific um, uh, radial, uh, uh, transradial catheters, which are mostly in our uh, setup, they are mostly used for the diagnostic procedures. Very less commonly we use them for the PCI procedures. Coming to the grafts, uh, if it is a right-sided graft, which is a, a graft to the PD or RCA, it is uh, best done with a multipurpose, and uh, the left-sided grafts can, can be done easily with the uh, Judkan right or AL guide. As far as the Lima is concerned, um, I think, uh, again, uh, Judkan right and uh, memory uh, catheters, uh, internal memory catheters are uh, very useful for doing these procedures. Now, uh, there is uh, an element of uh, stenosis once the guide is sitting inside the coronary ostium. 
and higher the size of the guide, more is the area of stenosis and one needs to be careful about this. Uh, guide extension uh, can be taken once there is a difficulty in crossing the lianes, particularly if you cannot cross the hardware like balloons and stents across the lien. Uh, with the maximum um, backup support guide catheters, one can take guide extension and they are helpful. And um, here is an angioplasty uh, of right coronary artery, uh, which has uh, a very uh, severe diffuse disease. And this was done with the uh, AL catheter. And uh, in AL catheters, one needs to be very careful. Careful uh, when, when there can be a complication like uh, osteal dissection. Uh, here is a PCI being done uh, of the left main ostium. And uh, Judkin, uh, left Judkin catheters are preferred uh, over the others, particularly if there is a lean in the ostium of the left main or the left main is very short or there is separate origin of the LED and circumflex. This is a CTO LED which was uh, done with the XB catheter. And uh, here you can see the Gaia wire sitting in the LED and then it has been changed to, an, uh, to a workhouse wire and uh, you can see the result. So this is the PCA to a um, um, vein uh, graft of um, RCA. Okay, I think that was not moving. So I move to the next, this is the left-sided graft, which is being done with the Judkin right catheter. There was a critical osteolian in the graft, which has been covered. There was a good result. Good result. And this is another vein graft of the left system, which was um, done with Judkin right catheter, is, is, is critically in the mid course. And uh, you can see the stent placement and the final result. Uh, this is a PCI of um, LED beyond the lima insertion. A uh, right Judkin has been taken to engage the lima. And uh, you can see this uh, ballooning and the stand in the final result with a successful angioplasty. So here, I think um, the difficulty level, particularly these uh, bands and tortuosities were uh, underestimated. And uh, right, Judkin was taken for this uh, PCI, but uh, the stand could not be delivered. And uh, then there was um, a guide extension support was taken and the stent was delivered at the lien site and uh, angioplasty was completed. So this is the summary of um, the different catheters, the different um, required for the different RTs and uh, locations and uh, there are multiple options. We have already covered all of them. So to conclude, I think guide catheter selection is one of the most important steps in the performance of angioplasty. And uh, it is based on a correct scientific understanding of different guides available, the patient's anatomy and the PCA route. And there are many different techniques to enhance the guide support. And selection of the best guide catheter avoids unnecessary complications. Thank you very much.